hello and welcome back to library fashion and style in today's class we are going to be learning how to make this cute pyramid bag okay i made this using ankara and cotton fabric it has this cute zipper by the side and this helps you to open and close it it has this handle as well and you can beautify it anyhow you want this is what the base looks like it's a very simple tutorial as we are going to see in this video and it's very beginner friendly and cute as you can see. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so we are going to start by cutting out the templates. I'm using just a regular carton for this. You can use anything strong enough and then for the main bag i'm going to work with this ankara fabric this day and a black plain fabric and then you also need a zipper for this so let's start with this so for the big one that's the main bag the measurement that i'm working with is eight inches by five inches and then for the cover which is the small part i'm working with five inches by three inches so now to have that like oval shape that we have so all you just need to do on the for the big one on the five inches side i'll divide what i have by two and that's going to give me two and a half inches and then on the length side which is eight inches i'll divide what i have by two as well and that will give me four inches so i'll grab a curve driller or something curvy and then i'm going to connect like this so after connecting it, you are going to cut it out. You can also do the same thing on this side, or you can just put it on fold so that you have something uniform. So you just put it on fold and then you cut out like this. So for the small one as well, I did the same thing. I will just get the midpoint of the one on top, the 3 inches, I marked as 1.5. And then for the 5 inches length, I marked at 2.5. So you take your ruler and connect like that. I'm going to put that on fold as well. And then I'll go ahead and cut out that shape. I'm making sure that it is equal. Then I'm going to grab my scissors and then cut this out. So those are the two templates that I need. Okay, the small one and the big one. So now I'm going to bring in my stay. So now you spread your gum stay. This is a very hard color stay. Okay, so you place the, the pattern like this. So the the, rectang the straight side is going to be facing downwards, just like this. Then you trace out what you have. So I'm going to be tracing out four. And then you make sure that the four of them just connect at the edge. You're going to see what I'm saying by the time I'm done. So now I have traced this out. So I'm going to place this on this side as well. You can see the connection. And then trace out the exact same thing, just like this. Okay. So after tracing this part, I'm going to lift it up like this and then place this one on this edge as well and then trace out what I have. So you do the same thing for the last side so you can see what I'm talking about. Then you place this one and then it's just going to fit at the edge like this and then you trace it out. So you can see that we have four of this design now. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut out this shape that I have okay I hope you're able to see the four shapes so I'll cut it out now so I've cut out the pattern and this is what it looks like now so the same thing I did for this I've gone ahead to do it for the smaller size as well and then I'm going to cut it out so now I've cut the two out the next thing to do now is to gum it to my fabric so this is a color stay it has a shiny side so the shiny side has a glue on it so you just need it to press them on each other so now I'm going to be placing the color stay on the wrong side of my fabric and then I'm going to spread my fabric like this okay i'm threading the wrong side and then i'm going to go ahead and gum this stay on it then i'll cut it out so when i'm cutting it out i'll leave small allowance all around it i have gummed this and cut it out you can see and i have some allowances on me so i'll just notch it in the corner so that i can fold it in but you cannot leave this you have to line it so i'm using this black lining for it so to fix my lining i'm just going to cover this you can cut it before you fix your Ankara, I want it to be the exact shape of this. But for me, 
I'm just going to lay it on it like this and then I'm going to use hemming gum to glue them together. So I'll just cut some hemming glue and fill all the spaces with it and then I'm going to lay this on it and glue. So I've cut out a small shape but before then this is going to be the base. So for more structure on the base area I have cut out another gum stay on this side so I'm going to be fixing it on this part. You can even do two or three just so that it can sit well. Remember this is the base. So the shiny part of this I'm going to glue it to the base as well. After that I'm going to add the lining. I have done that you can see now it is lined. So for the edges here, especially if your fabric frills, you can go ahead and sedge it first before you bend it in. So mine doesn't, so I can still feel my my color stay here, so I know the corners that I need to notch. So I'll go ahead and notch the corners and then I'm going to bend it inwards like this. So after bending it like this, you can actually use glue to hold it together, but for me, I'll take it to my sewing machine and then I'm going to stitch the edges now. Okay, once I stitch the edges, it's going to definitely hold it for me. And then I can work on it. So after sewing the edges and you're sure that it is held, you can take it to your ironing table and then you iron it. Or you can even put hemming gum on it just so that it lays as flat as possible. So I have done this now. You can see my top stitching on it. And to just fold this over for you so now I did the same thing for the cover as well I decided I went ahead to line the cover as well so now I'm going to fix my zipper on just any side of this so to do that you're just going to pin the zipper following this shape that you have you're going to pin it down and then you take it to your sewing machine and, and sew so you can see I'm just placing it on it like this and then I'll pin it towards here and I'll do the same thing to this side on one side. So I'm going to have to fix the zipper. So this is the zipper. You just zip it and close it back. It's very easy to fix. Just fix it exactly how I explained. You just place it beside it and sew on it like this. So you can see. So now the zipper is fixed and one side is closed. So now I'll move straight to the handle that I'm going to use to hold it. So this handle is about 16 inches in length. You can make it as long as you want. So I ironed gum stay on it, uh, sorry, air stay on it, just to strengthen it more. Okay, I have 17 inches. And then you're going to go ahead and turn it, just like this. So you can use hand um, fabric as well. You can use pearls. You can use whatever it is to make your hand, depending on what you want. So now I'm going to go ahead and fix the handle on the side that is facing each other, okay? this side and this side is facing each other this side and this side is facing each other so I just place it by the side like this and so okay make sure that it is straight enough so I'll go ahead and sew it on out outwardly like this you can see it inside as well but I'm going to sew it outwardly on the two sides like this you just back stitch on it a little bit just to hold it together so after sewing it on those two sides i'll go ahead and close the side so i'm just going to sew it close you can fix zipper on all the sides if you want to beautify it but for me i'll just place them against each other like this i think it's my sewing machine i already have a seam line there so i'll just follow it and sew it all around like this for all the four sides i fixed the the handle and I also sew the side so you can see. So the pulse is all sewn and ready now. So now the next thing is to bring the cover. So this is my cover. I'm going to get the midpoint of this area. And once I have the midpoint, I'm going to cast through it with maybe a sodium iron or whatever it is that you have that can pierce through something. The goal is to place an highlight there so that we can pass our rope through it and connect the two posts to be the, the two of them together so now i'm piercing it like this and then i'm going to go ahead and place my my eyelet so i have a story on how you can fix an eyelet if you don't know how to you can check it out i've made the hole and i have fixed my eyelet 
so what i'm going to do now is to pass this rope through it through the eyelid and then i'm going to bring it down okay so after bringing it down like this you turn it in such a way that each of this is going to meet the edges like this so after doing this now i'm going to you can see this part is still opened so i'm going to use my snap buttons to hold it down okay so you can just use this other side of it if you don't intend to open it but if you want to keep opening it up you use the two sides the four sides of the button i have a tutorial on how you can work with meta snap so i'll go ahead now and use them on the four edges so i have added the snaps like i said i just use one side just to hold it together because i don't want to open it but if you want to open it you fix one to the cover and then you fix the other to the main bag and like i said the tutorial on how you can do that is already uploaded on the channel so this is what the bag looks like you can see that it's standing sitting really firmly and the cover on top is also firm that's because i doubled the stick that i used on those parts so you can beautify it with whatever you have i have this as well so i'm just going to place it on the zipper area just so that it gives it more beauty and it's also going to make it easy for me to zip it it makes the zipper hook longer kind of longer shall I? so i'm just going to place it there and this is the effect that that is going to give to the bag i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful bag with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye